Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews and night four of the 31 Days of Horror. What I'm reviewing tonight is a movie I'm actually quite surprised at, and that is Doom Annihilation. Um, I'm going to say right off the bat, I went into this with really low expectations. I was expecting to... I was genuinely expecting not to hate it, but um, I was expecting... I had low standards for this, and I was pleasantly surprised. Um, essentially, okay, first off, I gotta say this. This is not a sequel to the Doom movie that starred The Rock. Um, this is essentially a reboot of the story, and it's a bit closer to the game story than um, than the, the movie with The Rock. You know, so he's, they got, like, um, they're on the the moon of um mars uh phobos and they're they found like um essentially like a teleportation type device and they're working to use it but it ends up connecting essentially to hell and uh you know demon antics ensue all in all this this is a pretty damn good movie i mean it is what it is. I am not saying that this is going to win an Academy Award. I'm not saying that this is like the end-all be-all of horror movies, because it's nowhere near. But what what you got here is a fun little popcorn flick um, with some pretty decent effects for the most part. I mean, there, there's a lot of CG in here, because they have um, like a lot of like spaceships and everything like that. And it's not the greatest CG, I'll say that, but I've seen a lot worse in much, you know, uh, higher budgeted movies. So, you know, take that for what you will. The acting's okay, you know, pretty much everyone is like, I, I didn't know any of the actors in this, and honestly, that really helped. Um... This is more of a... How can I put this? This doesn't feel like a like a big action movie, like a vehicle for a big action star. It's just a bunch of... I don't want to say nobodies, because, you know, that's, uh, that's kind of harsh. But a bunch of essentially no-name actors that you've never heard of. And it works, honestly. It really does. Um, this particular Blu-ray has absolutely no special features and I think that's a bit of a shame because I would have liked to have seen like something on this because uh like I said it, it's it's actually pretty decent um one thing they do in this they also, they bring back from the first Doom movie you know the whole um first person perspective at one point but they do it in a good way they all have these visors on and they have like a heads up display and essentially you know, you see through the heads-up display, so you see what they see. It works a, a little bit better than how they did it in the first Doom movie, but, you know, it is what it is, right? So for a rating, I'm giving this 7 out of 10. Solid flick, honestly. I mean, if you're on the fence about it, give it a shot. Just remember, you know, don't go in expecting genius because you're not going to get it go in expecting just a fun little popcorn flick and that's what you're going to get you know and there's actually some pretty decent gore in it as well so there you go so seven out of ten doom annihilation pretty damn good honestly that's it for now see you next time